Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for checking out this video. Welcome, if you are new, welcome back. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. This is going to be a love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not and cannot resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes they can resonate more than your sun sign. Um, and also, you know, keep in mind that I am reading for a lot of people so you can take what messages resonate for you and leave the rest for Sagittarius, please spirit. Thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments and even though I can't respond to all of them, hold on, I do read them. Sagittarius, please. In regards to love. For Sagittarius, please. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay. <clears throat> what else for Sagittarius, please? separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon some of you could be separated from your person at this time or one of you in this connection is going through a separation whether in the past or the present or the future for Sagittarius please I am doing personal readings the link to the Etsy shop is in the description box so um, check it out. If there are not that many readings, it's because I have a limited number. So check back on Sundays. It's usually when I restock. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Interesting. So a lot of you want this back, this connection that you had. Someone in this connection, um, whatever separation took place, uh, someone wants things to be fixed or come back let's see what other messages for Sagittarius I'm using the energy Oracle cards here I link all of the cards that I use down in the description box for Sagittarius. in regards to love for Sagittarius in regards to love what do they need to know Woman holding a heart. Okay, that's very uh, Queen of Cups energy there. So there's a lot of love here. Nurturing, caring, emotions. Someone wants to be, uh, possibly is wearing their heart on their sleeve or wants to give their heart away. Blossoming abundance. Love it. What else? Storm warning, of course. <laughs> we can never have just a really good reading, right? <laughs> so something here, I have a 10 here, and the storm warning card is coming to a completion, or there's something that's being wrapped up or being um, taken care of at this time, almost like a, like a tower moment. And I'm also getting from this, the energy I'm picking up is one of expectation. Someone knows this is happening or is going to happen. They know the storm is coming. Interesting. For Sagittarius, please. Of course, my cards, I can never shuffle this deck like perfectly. <laughs> This is the Light Seer's Tarot that I'm using today for Sagittarius, please. In love for Sagittarius. So 
some of you are dealing with a water sign. Or an Aries. This for some of you. For Sagittarius, please. Okay. Let's see what messages we have for you guys in love. For Sagittarius, please. Whoop. Okay, we got death, queen of wands, reverse. Scorpio energy with death, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the queen of wands, reverse. By the way, we do reversals on this channel. If you do not understand reversals in the tarot, please save your comments and go to another reader that doesn't do reversals. There's a lot of them. Um, we do reversals here. I cannot control what cards come out. Otherwise, what would be the point of doing this channel? <laughs> so um, yeah, reversals are not bad cards. There's nothing wrong with reversals. I don't know why anybody thinks that that's the case. It's just a different message. That's all it is. Tell me more for Sagittarius, please. Eight of Cups reversed. Five of Cups. Someone wants to return. Something ended and someone wants to return. They could be missing you or vice versa. And it's almost like this page of cups could be an apology, an initial message. What else for Sagittarius, please? The wheel. Interesting. So a change is coming and I feel like it's going to bring about a storm. Someone knows this though. Someone knows this. But they're hopeful that it's going to work out anyway. They're still going to express themselves. Even if it means that a tornado will come, you know, they're going to express themselves because they have a lot of love for someone. So let's see what else we can get here, Sagittarius. I'm using the same deck to clarify. Tell me about death, please. Why is death here? Ten of Cups. Okay, what else for death? Six of Wands reverse six of swords reverse again with that feel like that message of coming back <laughs> something was not successful something was not somebody uh was probably in a situation because of how it appeared to others you know on the inside on the outside it looked really successful but not in not on the inside if that makes sense three of cups at the bottom so this could be a third party situation where there is already um there could have been a separation due to a third party um or some sort of in there's an interference here and it could be another romantic partner or it could be family parents finances distance something's interrupting this and it's like someone needs to put an end or transform change a situation and i feel like that change is going to happen when they return to something tell me more about death hold on let me get one more card for death for some of you, there's children involved in some way. Tell me about that, please. Two of Swords, reverse. A decision has been made. They weren't sure at first. 
Yeah, in this decision, someone's going to feel it's unfair or karma is involved here. Um, but they're still going to go after a new beginning with a fool. They're still going to do this. This They're still going to do an ending, even though it's going to be unfair to someone or it's going to be unbalanced. It's almost like someone, for example, who... This is just an example, is going to divorce someone else. And they know that by divorcing, they're going to lose the house. But it doesn't keep them from divorcing the other person. Does that make sense? I hope it does. All right. Tell me about this Queen of Wands reverse. Queen of Wands reverse. Usually they are the ones that their actions usually affect other people, but they don't care. They don't think about their consequences. They're bossy. They're attention grabbing. They crave attention. Five of Swords, Three of Cups. Um, there could have been a fight or a loss because of this Queen of Wands reverse. She could be one of the ones in this third party. They tend to have a temper. Um, they tend to be uh, impulsive in their decision making because all they care about is their pleasure. Tell me more about Queen of Wands reverse, please. There could have been deception regarding this Queen of Wands reverse. And that's why we're in a third party here. Again, with the, yeah, there's an, there's a, something's going to be unfair. You know, like it's almost like someone in the third party is getting chosen over the other person and one of them is going to lose. <laughs> This is a lose-lose situation, by the way. This is, you know, even if someone chooses the person they love, there's still going to be a loss somewhere. I hope this is making sense. I have the Empress at the bottom of the deck here. So again, you know, there's like, I don't care how unfair it is or how, you know, I don't care if this is a karmic, if, if, if you know, things are going to not come out in my favor. I see potential here with someone else. I have love for someone else. Yeah. The hermit after that. So it's like they're thinking about this. With They're withdrawing and, and thinking about this person, this new, like this new life they can create. And this could be you, Sagittarius, or this could be the person you're dealing with. Because this is both of your energies here. Tell me about this page of cups. Tell me about this page of cups, please. The star reversed Aquarius energy. This page of cups is a dreamer. Tell me more about this page of cups. The lovers reverse. Okay, one more, please, for this page of cups. We got judgment and the eight of pentacles reversed. Yep. This page of cups wants to apologize because they chose the wrong person. They made the bad judgment call with someone else and it's not working out. They no longer want to put work in something here. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, water sign, but they want a second chance. They want a second chance. They, they know they screwed up. They see that now. I have the hangman at the bottom here. Could be a Pisces. They see that now that they they messed up. They made the wrong choice. Um, and even though they're, it's almost like they're, they're not even hopeful that they'll be able to get this person back. They're still going to try. Tell me about this Eight of Cups reverse. This person wants to come back. Yeah. Stuck in the past. Six of Cups. Reversed. They're not over the past. Again, children could be a factor here for one of you or both of you. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. Reversed. The Tower. Reversed. Might be wanting to avoid a tower moment here. Um, 
but it's still you know there is no avo avoiding a tower you know it's meant to happen it's gonna happen but again it's almost like they are expecting a tower to happen it's like they know it's gonna happen so how do i make it so it's not so bad how do i prepare for a tower you know it's kind of weird because the whole point of a tower is and here's the high priestess so though this person knows they know what's going to happen when they return to someone. It's going to cause a tower. It's going to be unfair. There's going to be a loss. But they don't care. They could also be keeping this to themselves, like as a secret, not revealing their plans. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Eight of Swords Reverse. Tell me more about the Five of Cups, please. Temperance Reverse. Sagittarius Energy, there you are. Something is, uh, couldn't come together in harmony. The timing is off. Uh, something's still out of balance here. But someone's overcoming their fear, overcoming this mental prison they put themselves in they're breaking free tell me more about this five of cups and yeah four of wands five of wands so it's like there's been um there's been something here that has not been working out or there's conflict arguments too many people involved in this situation um and it has to do with harmony in the home. It's like there's no harmony in the home. Something's not coming together. It looks like there's harmony from the outside, once again. But behind this door, there's conflict and, you know, something that's not balanced, not harmonious. You know? Someone's actually trapped here. But they're getting out. They're regretful. They miss someone. Tell me about the wheel. Tell me about the wheel of fortune. I feel like your reading was a lot more straightforward, Sagittarius, than the other ones. You could be dealing with um, a Scorpio, a Libra, a fire sign, a water sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius that a lot of people here tell me about the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is going to bring about complete change and I think it's very um, interesting that this reading starts with change and ends with change two of Pentacles reversed one of these Pentacles is being dropped someone can no longer keep this up the back and forth the the juggling of two things they're not able to keep that up the wheel why is the wheel here that blossoming abundance that's that empress card queen of swords reverse not a good person to be dealing with air uh i was gonna say aries aquarius libra gemini energy there tell me more about the wheel Five of Pentacles, another five. We have five of cups, five of pentacles, five of swords. And the five of wands. I think we have them all. One, two, three. No, we have three. No, one, two. Did I count? No, we have them all. <laughs> we have all fives, which five symbolize change and challenges. Give me one more for this wheel. Tell me more about the wheel, please. Eight of Wands reverse, Page of Swords reverse. So this is blocked communication, uh, possibly deception, but I'm more seeing it as blocked, a blocked message. Possibly because there's no communication between you and this person 
or very little communication. One of you might have blocked the other or there's kind of like a coldness here. There's struggle here. This Queen of Swords could also be the one blocking this communication. This truth from coming out, possibly twisting the truth and someone's very like upset about it. But they're, they're still making their choice. Like they're still having to make the choice because they can't do this anymore. You know, this Queen of Swords might put my uh, delay the movement here, delay the message coming in, but it's not going to be forever because we have the wheel here. The wheel is, I mean, the change is going to come. When the wheel turns, everything shifts, everything changes. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Knight of Cups reverse. This Queen of Swords reverse could be wanting to manipulate the situation because they don't want to give anything up. Yeah, so it's interesting. Um, whoever feels this is, it's like this third party energy is whoever chooses the, uh, it's like, how do I explain this? It's like whenever this other person is chosen, I really feel like either you or the person you're dealing with are already in a connection and that connection needs to be broken. And whoever's in that connection is very mad that they're being left behind and that someone else is getting chosen over them, you know? And they're gonna cause a tower, they're gonna blow everything up and this person knows it. The person that's gonna be causing the separation knows that when they choose this other person, it's gonna cause a blow up. It's gonna be unfair to them. They know they're gonna lose, but they would rather be in love with nothing than be in a terrible relationship, you know, and have it just look like it's perfect. That's what I'm picking up here. And this person, it's like, they know that everyone has their eyes on this, that there's multiple people here that could derail their plans. Um, it's like that maybe that's why they're keeping it to themselves until it's time to come back until it's time to put an end to something You know they made the bad they made a wrong choice and Now they they want to make the right choice, you know at one point the lovers reversed they made the wrong choice in their partner And now they want a second chance because they realize that they need to make a different choice they want to come back and have uh, an opportunity somewhere where they can actually grow and harvest and have abundance, you know? That's what I'm seeing here. And again, you know, th I really hope this wasn't confusing, but this could be you, Sagittarius, having to make this decision and go after your own happiness and leaving someone behind, or it's your person having to do that. And it's not going to be easy. We have all four five fives here. This is gonna be completely challenging and it's gonna be a, a drastic change for someone. But two of swords reverse, two of pentacles reverse, the decision is made and things are going to change. I have two cards here about returns. I mean, it's a very clear message. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this uh, reading resonated with most of you. I hope you got something out of it. If it did resonate with you, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. Um, and uh, if it didn't resonate with you, then check out your other placements. Sometimes those can resonate more. And um, thank you again to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.